So the point of today's video is to share with you a homemade scent reducing product. You want to take a big jug, a big empty jug, five liter jug. You want to add a quarter cup of baking soda. To that you want to add two cups of distilled water which you can get from uh, pretty much any motor space place or any farmers co-op. I think you can even buy it in most grocery stores in South Africa. To that you're going to give that a good shake and you're going to mix up those solids of the bicarb or the baking soda till it's all mixed up and then you're going to take hydrogen peroxide in South Africa you want to use 10 volume which is the equivalent of 3% hydrogen peroxide and you want to put in two cups so 500 moles and you're going to add it to that mix this is where you got to start being a little bit careful people that uh, hydrogen peroxide if it gets on your skin it burns you it's a very good disinfectant I keep it in my medical aid kit it's great for cleaning cuts and wounds and all that sort of thing and then to all of this you want to add 15 mils or basically a tablespoon of fragrance free shampoo or hand cleaner you want to give this stuff a good shake up and then you want to take the lid off this thing and you want to let it just do its thing the acid and the alkaline are going to react for a few days it's pretty hectic it foams like mad i suggest uh, those of you guys that have place outside to do it put it somewhere that's out of reach of kids and family don't do it in your house trust me the minister of finance she's not a happy camper when she walks into your into your room and the stuff is foaming out the top there and you want to leave this stuff for about a week now i hunt out of elevated tree stands and i find that these elevated tree stands is the place that i use it i don't use it for walk and stalk i tend to find that with the walk and stalk that you normally uh, sort of considering the wind cuts down on that scent on your boots as you walk up into the hide I find it works for me I've tried the commercial stuff and I haven't really seen a better result the other thing is as well is that I live in a Tabazimbi Tabazimbi in Limpopo is a pretty understocked town in many respects scent control is very difficult to get here this stuff is easy I can make it basically out of the grocery store and the local chemist or the local pharmacist I make the stuff let it set for a week I put it in a brown bottle remember your hydrogen peroxide and those things they need to go into a bottle that is UV resistant because Sun does break it down I hope this works for you guys it works for me um, the commercial stuff well I'd love to be able to own a, an ozonics um, in the first place I've never seen them here in South Africa available on the shelves I have seen them with guests that I've had that have kind of come over uh, the scent lock products also look flipping amazing I think these ozone producing scent blockers are probably the way to go but you know what I don't have them I use the homemade stuff it works for me I've killed many animals with, uh, with, with using the, the scent stuff. Folks, if you like these type of videos, please hit the thumbs up down below. If you don't like them, hit the thumbs down. You know, it's all good. Leave a comment. I'm happy to bring you sort of more homemade recipes if you'd love to see them. Uh, for me, I want to grow this channel, so I'm trying to push out two uh, videos a week. So I'm thinking that on a Tuesday, I'm going to push out tips and tricks. I'm privileged that I live in the outdoors. I love it. I love my family. I love sharing with you, my subscribers. I value your input. Please stick with us. Like and subscribe to the channel. And let's get this thing rocking. Thank you. Goodbye. Final tip for this video is that you can use hydrogen peroxide for blood trailing. You put it into a small spray bottle pictured here in the left of the screen and then what you do is as you blood trailing you spray it on and wherever it comes into contact it's with blood it will actually produce a white foam. When I was removing this broadhead from this uh, tree I accidentally cut myself and I just want to show you that hydrogen peroxide when you put it into contact with blood it will actually foam I don't know if you can see that but the minute it comes into contact with blood it foams if I put it anywhere else 
you'll see that there is no there's no reaction sorry that that little bit there is obviously just another spot of blood but you can have a look here wherever i put this so it's a very handy thing to have it's a good thing to keep in your first aid kit if you ever get any minor cuts or scrapes you can put it on there it sterilizes pretty good but very typical of this um, blood contact with hydrogen peroxide is this foam. It foams quite considerably. And it's something nice when you're blood trailing. You can walk down the trail and if you've got it in a small bottle, you can just spray it as you go and you'd be surprised at how blood just comes to life with it. It works exceptionally well. Don't overlook hydrogen peroxide for blood trailing and also keep it in your first aid kit as a sterilization tool. It works great on injuries, it cleans them out and it, it helps a great deal. My only suggestion is, is that instead of the 40 volume that you get the 3% which is 10 volume and use that. But hydrogen peroxide for blood trailing, it's a wonderful tool. Thank you, be safe folks, see you on the next video.